I just, I can't. Oh my God. All right, hello everyone, welcome back. So we're gonna get into this glam. We're gonna get into this full face, finally. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this look on TikTok and you asked, you received. So make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And we're just gonna get into it. We're just, we're just gonna get into it. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm putting on uh, some cocoa butter first and then the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm not even gonna act like I have an organized skincare routine because I don't right now. I'm really just been trying products to see like if they work for me because I don't know, my skin has not been liking what I've been using. But yeah, I needed something pretty moisturizing underneath the foundation that I'm using because I'm using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and I find that it dries down pretty fast and on me, it dries down kind of dry if I don't have a nice base to work with. So I find that pairing like a thicker moisturizer or something, not oily, but you know, it's, it's not something light, but like a thicker moisturizer and then that Milk Hydro Grip Primer is just like literally a heaven sent base and it just applies so flawlessly. Like look, look at that. But yeah, so I'm just gonna keep pressing that foundation into my skin with that Real Technique sponge. And I am using the gingerbread shade in the Huda Beauty foundation line. Um, I will be putting all of the details and all the rest of the colors for everything else I use in this video. So don't worry, I got y'all. And I also wanted to say thank you guys for being so patient with me and waiting on this video. Look, I was just trying to get my degree. Your girl, your girl is degree now. So, so I'm about to be on it. Purr, period. Okay, bye. And on to concealer. So I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It is literally my favorite in the entire world. I used it once like three years ago and I've never used anything else. Like it's literally the bondage. I just, I can't. But yeah, so I'm just gonna keep placing that concealer in the areas of my face that I wanna bring forward. And then after I'm done doing that, I'm gonna take that same beauty sponge that I was using to blend out my foundation and I'm gonna blend out my concealer with it too. Okay, so sometimes if I'm not really feeling that coverage underneath my eyes, I will go back in with some more concealer. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit. But then I also go in with the CoverGirl concealer and it is a slightly lighter shade, but it just brightens it up just a little bit. So on to contouring my nose. So I'm actually not using a concealer. I'm using the Black Opal Stick Foundation and I'm not using too much product. A little bit goes a long way, I'm telling you. You will have like a, just a really dark nose. <laughs> just don't put too much. But yeah, so I'm just putting a little bit and just mapping out where I wanna blend out. And afterwards, I'm just gonna continue placing that product in the areas of my face that I wanna chisel out. So cheekbones, my jawbone, forehead, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I actually blend out my contour differently in different areas. So pretty much everywhere except for my nose, I blend it out with that beauty sponge. 
But for my nose, I actually use this angled eyeshadow brush just so when I'm buffing it out, the product pretty much stays focused where I put it and it doesn't get moved around too, too much. You know, I kind of want it to stay where I put it. So after my contour and highlight are pretty much blended, I like to set with the translucent setting powder. And my fave is the Sasha Buttercup Powder. She has never failed me. So I like to set with a little Real Techniques fluffy brush and I just like the finish that it gives me. I am gonna note that I do put a little bit more powder around my nose and my cheek areas, just cause they get, they tend to get oilier there. So I like to pack it in just so when I'm working in other areas of my face, I can just let that sit and marinate or bake, if you will. So when I come back, I can just dust the excess off and then we're good. So the same way I set everywhere, I highlighted with that translucent setting powder, I'm doing the same thing with contour. So everywhere I put the contour, I'm just setting it with the Black Radiance Pressed Powder and just blending it in. So after I'm done blending all that contour in, I like to warm my face back up using some blush. So first I go in with the Kat Von D blush and it is a little bit of a darker tone, but it's pink. And then I like to take just a little bit of this orange eyeshadow color and blend that in too. And here goes my favorite part, or one of my favorite parts. So um, to highlight, I first go in with this Cover FX highlight. It's in this little blush palette combo thing, but I use that highlight first, and then after I go in with this Benefit Cosmetics one, and it's called Cookie, and it's really, it's really bright. It's extreme, but I like harsh highlights, so that's just me. But yeah, um, to apply it on my cheekbones and everything, I do use a fan brush. I don't know about y'all, but the fan brush be doing it for me. So yeah, she, she does it. So now I'm just going in with a big fluffy brush and dusting off the excess powder and highlight too. And then I'm gonna go in and basically just finish my eye makeup. 
So first I'm going in with this orange shade from the Modern Renaissance palette and just blending that in. And then I'm going back in with this orange brown smoky color from the Nubia's Place palette and just smoking that bottom lash line out. So after those shadows are pretty much blended out, I like to go in with this black eyeliner pencil and put that in my waterline. I used to like the white eyeliner look to open your eyes up, but I've definitely switched over to the dark side, so yeah. But here's the thing, my eyes water throughout the day randomly, or I'm a crybaby, so if I'm watching a Netflix show or something like that, I will cry. So in order to prevent that from like smearing my makeup or making my eye makeup run or something like that, I like to set that cream eyeliner with some black shadow. Now it does make the eye look a little bit darker underneath my bottom lash line, but I kind of like it. And I don't even know if that's even true, if it really does set it, but <laughs> it works for me. So try that out. Maybe it'll help you out. And the mascara that I'm using here is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Look, I've actually been sleep on milk products. I really haven't been using a lot of them in the past, but I've started using that Hydro Grip Primer and now this mascara, and I'm now a believer. So don't sleep on milk makeup. But after I'm done doing that, I like to go in with a felt tip eyeliner and do my moles. And then after I do my moles, I do my freckles. So I use a felt tip liner for both of them, but I just use a different color. So for my moles, I use black. And then for my freckles, I use the Kat Von D Mad Max Brown CC. It's like a slightly lighter shade. It's still kind of dark, but I like that lighter shade better than just black. Also, I have been doing my freckles like this for years. So um, I actually got a suggestion on my TikTok to put like a concealer or something like that, like a darker concealer with a bobby pin or something, and then take my finger and blend it out so it looks more natural. And I might try that, but you know how you're stuck with like one way of doing something for so long, you're like, this is the only right way. And that's the, I just, I don't know. I've just been doing it this way for so long, but I might try that. So thank you to whoever suggested that. And so the last part of my makeup is that inner corner wing. So the only thing that I'm going to suggest to you guys, the only advice that I have to give is to don't overthink it. Just draw it, just do it. Because I am that person, I will sit there and redo it over and over and over again and try to get it to look identical to the other side. It's fine, just wing it. No pun intended, actually pun intended. But yeah, just wing it. Finally, the lips. I actually don't use a lip liner. I use the liquid lipstick for that. And so I'm using a little flat brush to apply the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crucifix. And so if you notice, I'm actually not following my Cupid's bow at the top. I'm kind of going straight across. It just helps me create this cute little lip shape for my top lip. And so after, I'm going to continue lining my lips and then filling in the outer corners. So when I put the pink nude shade in the middle, it gives that ombre effect. And so after I'm done putting that matte lipstick down, I like to gloss over with a clear gloss first. And then I go in with this NYX Butter Gloss right in the center of my bottom lip and just blend that out. And then I like to go back in with this little shimmer shade right on top of that. And it just gives a little, a little some, a little extra pop. And then we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna spray some setting spray, set your girl up. And then yeah. 
so if you guys enjoyed this i know it took me forever but i still love you guys i swear um but yeah if you like this leave a comment let me know if you try any of these techniques let me know that too but yeah i love you guys bye